Two presidents, one final meeting, and no doubt about its significance. We are the most important alliance or most important relationship in the entire world. Joe Biden and Xi Jinping first met as vice presidents more than a decade ago. As one prepares to leave and the other braces for what's next, they both stress the importance of dialogue. Over the last four years, I think we've proven it's possible to have this relationship. As world leaders gathered in Peru, the president-elect was ringside at a UFC bout in New York. It's always loud when he comes here, but yes. now that he's won, now that he's the president again, yes. oh my God. The man he's tapped to lead his strategic fight against Beijing as Secretary of State is known China hawk Marco Rubio. Mr Trump is promising to hit the country with tariffs of 60 per cent. So, you know, our two countries cannot let any of this competition veer into conflict. The Chinese president echoed the sentiment, but with a warning. If they take each other as rival or adversary, pursue vicious competition and seek to hurt each other, we would roil the relationship or even set it back. Earlier, the two presidents joined the rest of the APEC crew. No sign of anxiety over what the second Trump administration may bring, not publicly anyway. But the leader's declaration did reiterate calls for a free, open, fair and predictable trade and investment environment. I'm not going to preempt uh, what uh, his administration uh, might do. He clearly has an, an agenda. We'll wait and see how that plays out. Here in Rio, Anthony Albanese is expected to meet Xi Jinping, who wants to expand China's influence if the US retreats inward. At the G20 summit, climate change will come into sharper focus. Donald Trump wants to retreat on action in cutting emissions. Other leaders, though, are moving in the other direction. The British Prime Minister has just announced an ambitious new 2035 target, as required under the Global Climate Agreement. Anthony Albanese, though, is keeping his powder dry. Our focus is on achieving the 2030 target, because 2030 comes before 2035. But don't we deserve to know, before we go to the polls, what you're planning to do? You, you do know exactly what we're doing, 43% by 2030. The domestic debate will be waiting for the Prime Minister once he's done on the world stage. David Spears, ABC News, Rio.